Girls gon' slay, we gon' slay. Write up a check, we gettin' paid. Cash stay blue, diamonds with two. Take no L's, only blunts to the face. Car no roof, bitches stay thirsty. I got the juice, I just be posted. Giving me views, you giving me looks, I'm giving you moves. Girls gon' slay, true. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's episode on my channel, well today's video, is going to be about grilling because it's starting to get hot and we all need to know how to function with the grill. Because it is still technically quarantine time, you should not be at barbecues with a whole bunch of people. Learn to grill by yourself in your backyard. And today I have a special guest. I got my Poppy being the cameraman behind the camera. I feel like grilling is an essential thing to do, especially in the summertime. No one loves some burgers and hot dogs and sausages and all that other good stuff. So, right here, we have a grill, right? My dad grilled for us last night, so I'm just showing you what it's like. Now, I'm taking charcoal and I'm taking it out of a plastic bag, but the reason why I'm doing that is because my dad thought that he was gonna grill without me and I made him remove all the charcoal because that's rude. Anyway, so we got charcoal, which initially would be inside of one of these huge bags right here. Now, after that, charcoal, are you moving the camera? Yes. Okay. Charcoal, I'm gonna pour the charcoal in to the grill. I also actually purchased my dad this cute set, which we're gonna use today. I'm so, so, so excited to show you guys about. It's really cute. So because my charcoal was inside of this plastic bag and I don't want to touch a whole bunch of charcoal, I'm going to just move it around like this, all around, so we have space, film it, evenly distribute it. Now, the goods. Right here, we have the charcoal lighter, which you're going to take and open, and you're going to rub it all around like this okay make it nice and wet don't drag it but you know you're gonna obviously you can tell where I put the fire lighter at. now remember that bag I was showing you guys first I'm gonna take a piece rip it off not that big not dramatic not bad at all Poppy was lighter. Actually, I just bought my hookah lighter for a reason. But you can do whatever you want. Take it, take a piece of it, light it. Keep it going. Drop it inside. Let it do its own little thing. As you can see, now the paper is starting to burn, which is now allowing the charcoal to burn, and now we're getting some more flames. You're gonna start smelling the charcoal now at this point, which is perfectly fine. Before I close this and let this start heating up, I'm gonna watch all of that piece of paper that I put inside of there burn. So therefore, I can also see if I do want to add more um, charcoal lighter fluid or not. So now, you see it's going down a little bit right now. Close it a little. Come right here. I'm gonna show you the vents right here. The reason why the vent is closed is because I want it to heat up. When I have it, you know, to the temperature I want, I'll open it back. But like I said, it's heating up. As you can see, thermometer is going up right now. We're almost gonna hit 300. We want it to go to 400 before we start placing some food on the grill. So, in the meantime, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the kitchen, make sure that the food is prepared for the way that we want it to be, and also place aluminum foil on top of, um, sorry guys, bugs, ew, um, on top of um, top of the grill. So, be right back. As of right now, we almost at 500 degrees, guys. So now we're gonna take the aluminum foil and start placing it on the grill. And you can also know that it's hot because you see that the cold is turning white. So this right here is a pretty dope barbecue tool set that I got my dad for Father's Day. We got a spatula. These are things honestly that you really need whenever you grill. 
um, it doesn't have to be this specific thing, of course, but you got a spatula, four in one. It can cut, it can, um, it can cut pieces, tenderize, flip it, something else. Tongs, what you need for your food at all times. Um, a thermostat. This one is actually digital. He wants to go get the batteries for it. That's what makes it so cool. A brush, that's how you can um, clean your grill, which you use while it's still hot. And then I got some skewers, but let me show you how it actually looks. It's like a corn skewer and with the shish kebabs. It's gonna be lit, guys. Okay, so I know, yeah, I hear that sizzling. It's really hot. So as you can see, it's so hot that the foil is actually starting to burn a little bit. We'll just place on there. Um, my dad's gonna put some more cheese of chicken on this grill right now. Um, and I'll show you. So honestly, with food, you know the inside you want to be 165 degrees inside so that you know that it's cooked. When you are cooking chicken, of course, you want to um, flip it over. My dad's hands are clean, so and we're gonna eat this food. So that's the only reason why he's allowed to touch these with his hands. Yesterday, I showed you guys pretty much how to start the grill, put some chicken on top of it. Actually, I'm gonna be honest, we've been grilling all weekend. We made some jerk chicken yesterday, um, hot dogs, sausages, burgers, whatever, whatever. Today, we're supposed to do some salmon and some shrimp kebabs and some more chicken wings. So far, these wings have been flipped because I didn't show you yesterday. These are wingettes, so they're obviously nowhere near done, as you can see. And I'm gonna keep you guys updated little razzle dazzle he really think he's a chef guys did you just put that into a container or did you make this um it's a store-bought mixture with a little couple of my own green ones mm. we'll see if it's really good or not this will always be good about the salmon. I say salmon. How do you say it, Poppy? Salmon. 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 Salmon, right? Yeah. With an L or you said salmon or salmon? Salmon. Salmon? Yeah. Mmm. Salmon. Salmon. Everybody next door Bring a drink, I got the smoke You've been on a road lately